You know, over the last week or so, a lot of people come to me and said, aren't you outraged about this whole fire clean thing? And to be honest, I've had to tell them, no, I'm not outraged at all. Mainly because I had no idea what fire clean even was. I've never heard of it till this week. It turns out fire clean is some kind of miracle lube and cleaner for your guns. It's miraculous. They advertise it as being colorless and odorless. And you know what else is colorless and odorless? Most vegetable oils until they add the color and the smell later to make them marketable to people that want to cook with them. And it turns out that's pretty much what fire clean is. Just really expensive vegetable oil. Well, there's a lot of people that are really upset about this and they're like, aren't you going to make a video ranting about it? So I guess I'll make a video and rant about it. My rant about fire clean is get over it. If you bought it, move on. Realize you got took. You bought snake oil. If I bought snake oil, the last thing I'd want to do is run around with my hands above my head screaming, I bought snake oil, I bought snake oil, look at me, I'm a moron. I would act like, oh, I never bought any. I'm glad I was too smart for that. I'm, these other suckers bought some, but I've never even heard of this stuff. Even if I had a case of it sitting behind me, I'd throw a tablecloth over it and pretend I'd never heard of it. But if you want to run around and tell people, look at me, I'm a moron, someone took my money, well, that's up to you, that's your call. But here's a little tip for you. If someone tries to sell you something and they say it's miraculous or it's magical, well then you need to be skeptical. Be an educated consumer. Educate yourself about whether that's likely or not. If you don't want to be an educated consumer, if you don't want to do the math yourself, well, there's nothing anybody else can do for you. You're going to be parted from your money pretty easily. People ask me all the time, what's the best lube? How do I get the best lube? How do I get the best cleaner, etc.? You know the answer to that is, just know what viscosity you need. Do you live in a hot climate so you need something thick like a grease or do you live in a cold climate so you need something loose and thin that flows easily? That's basically all you need to know. All the rest is just filler. It's just stuff they add to change the color and the smell. If you're one of these people looking for the miracle cleaner that you won't have to clean your gun, it doesn't exist. Anything you put on your gun, you're still going to have to clean it like you should. And if you're looking for a magic lube that you just got to lube it once or twice and never worry about it again, that doesn't exist either. Maintain your firearm properly. If you don't, then just let it fall apart or don't buy one. I don't care. But if you want to take care of it, don't look for a miracle product. Just do the elbow work. But yes, I do understand that some people are upset that these people profited off so many people being ignorant of what this stuff was. So I do sympathize with those people a little bit, and those people shouldn't have profited. But here's the thing. If you're that butthurt, file a class action suit against them, take them to court, try to get that money back from them. Otherwise, get the fuck over it and move on with your life. Yeah, you bought a product that wasn't as magical as you thought it was, but it worked. I mean, like I said, most of those oils, they work. So you bought this product that works. You just paid more for it than you should. But if it really bothers you so much, like I said, either sue them or just move on. Because if you stop buying it and everyone else stops buying it, soon you won't have to worry about them at all.